Good morning, you cracking legends. This is Polish Pave, and you are watching to the Cycling Maven vlog. Good morning, legends. On uh, it's Saturday morning, heading out to the Hell Ride this morning. Catch up with a few crew. I couldn't find my Rafa vest this morning, so I was late. And uh, I'm there with about a minute to spare. So let's see if I can hold on. I made it to the group in time with about a minute to spare but you know it's crazy I just just went up the uh, the hill there the bunch is long gone I got dropped halfway up that little berg but I can tell you mate the speed these guys have got like one thing going out on the road and doing massive K's like I did for the last few K's with a few a couple of weeks with the Indy Pack you lose the speed you know the, the ability to go fast with the crew and uh, so that's one thing I majorly noticed. Like I went full, they were going hard up that hill. I went full lactic acid straight away. So interesting. Anyway, just got to show I've got to do some, some fast group rides now. Good thing about the hell ride is it's an out and back ride. So if you get dropped on the outbound leg, you can always get back on. And if you get dropped on the inward leg, you better hope it's nice weather because it's going to be a solo ride home. All right, legends, so I ended up getting a puncher. Uh, had a little bit of glass go through one of my tires. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to repair that with the pre-glued patches, right? Um, and these, these things are very important because when I was on the Indy Pack, uh, you could only carry three, two, three spares. And for 5,000 Ks, you, uh, if you start running out of spares, you need to glue up the holes. So I'll show you how to do that. There's two options. You get a standard puncher repair kit, right? Which is what we're all used to. In the puncture repair kit, you know, there's a few patches. There's a little device for, um, you know, sandpaper style thing for roughening up the the tire. All right, some of the options available now is these pre-glued patches. So these ones are from Park Tools. They are suitable for just a fast repair. They come with a little bit of sandpaper, so you're supposed to roughen up the actual tube and uh, around the area of the hole, and that will help the patch actually stick on a little bit better. So let's do that now. All right, I've pumped that bad boy up quite fat. So I've got a little hole just here. A little bit of glass was just protruding through and you can see that tiny little hole there. So in a nutshell, these pre-glued patches are by far the best way, in my opinion, to fix your tubes up. Uh, they're really portable. You can chuck them in your little bags on your bike, just carry them with you everywhere. They're fantastic. All right, so an awesome thing to add to your arsenal is these little valve extenders. These things are perfect for when you bring a tube out of your bag and you realize that the valve's too short for your deep 6.7 MV wheels. So I always keep these in my bag. Essentially what you do is you need to have a little set of pliers so you can remove the valve core. But you remove the valve core, you add the extender to the tube. 
and uh, and that basically allows you to get the uh, valve all the way through your deep dish wheels and then you replace the valve core and you put it into the extender. These things are absolutely invaluable. I always carry them in my bag from now on because you never know when you're gonna run out of tubes. And if you run out of tubes, what do you do? Uber. All right, Hanny and I are fully dagging out tonight, but we just wanted to quickly say uh, a massive thank you to everyone who bought t-shirts. We launched the t-shirts during the week, uh, these t-shirts, and they pretty much sold out straight away. That's all the boxes. Yeah, that's all going to the post office tomorrow morning. Let's go into the post office. They're gonna tomorrow. love me. <laughs> so you're sending them tomorrow? Yeah. Alright, awesome. We were shocked, man. They, they just went crazy, didn't they? Yeah. So I wasn't expecting to be so, so many at once. Yeah, so Hanny Hanny's now working her butt off to get all the t-shirts out. She's literally been sitting there for what? Two days. Two days now. Once Hanny's sorted these t-shirts out, which will be happening this week, we're going to do a second round of t-shirts because there were so many emails and messages coming through that people wanted t-shirts. We're going to do a little snappy second round and then we're going to the Giro. Now, I know that there are a lot of people that liked my Giro coverage last year, or sorry, my Tour de France coverage. This is the 100th Giro. So Hanny and I are essentially going to that. We are going to bring vlogs from the Giro to you guys, the culture, the food, sort of the behind the scenes stuff of the Giro. Uh, not so much the racing because there's, there's legalities around the racing footage and we can't go into it, but we can't really do much around that. But certainly we can bring you our experience from the Giro. Now uh, the plan is to go on to the Tour de France and then the Bolter, but we need to fund it. So the only way we can think of funding it is through a Kickstarter campaign, and I know that our followers are always sort of touching base with me saying, how can we contribute? So this would be a great opportunity for you guys to do that. Let us know what you think about that idea. Let me know, it, you know, I think of it as a project, three projects, and we really need to do this Kickstarter to fund those three projects. So. But also the content that you want to see as well from the Giro, like what would you want to see there? Yeah. What is, is it that, you know, the more of the towns, the food, the things to do, um, the race area. interviews, etc. Yeah. Know, what, what do you want to see? Yeah, do you want to see tech stuff? Do you want to see bike tech stuff? Mm. We can't really get too much of the footage stuff because there's certain... Uh, entities that pay money, they pay good money to be, to you know, and to have the rights. On, you'd see a bit of footage on TV anyway. Yeah, like I'm not, race. I'm not going to compete with television stations, right? So, and I, we don't have the money to be paying, you know, X amount of dollars for, uh, for, for TV rights. So essentially, what we're going to be doing is bringing you our experience. And Hanny's coming, and we're going to hopefully do all three grand tours. That's the plan. But as I say, it comes back to this uh, this Kickstarter campaign that we're going to run and how successful that is. So that's that's what it boils down to. Uh, let us know in the comments. This, this project is probably the biggest project that we've ever embarked on. We're sacrificing a lot. We're, we're getting rid of our place and we're gonna sort of cut everything loose and sell things and then head over there. And uh, let us know what you think. I will be doing the official camp, the launch, the Kickstarter launch very soon, uh, probably in the next week or so. With the Kickstarter though is you get something out of it as well. It's yeah. not all, it's not a donation. It, well, you know, it is a contribution, but you get something back from it as well. And that's, that's more important than if we were to do a GoFundMe or yeah. those types of pages. We wanted you guys to be able to get something from it and feel like your contribution, you know? Yeah, yeah, you have input into this yeah. production. Thank you again for watching. As always, legends. We'll see you on the bike. See you in the next video. Look after each other. Be nice. See you then. Anything else, Hen? <laughs> Do you want to shut it down?